Hey guys, it's Jalissa. I know you guys haven't seen me in forever and I'm so sorry, but I've just... So, today's video, sorry, this is like a weird, like, angle, but this is the best I can do right now because my room is still not my room yet, and I haven't figured out a good place to film, and I haven't bought in my camera yet, but I will, like, next month, for sure, without a doubt, and I'll be back on my video schedules, but anyways, today's video is going to be a um like a video on my experience with having box braids and like how I took care of it how long they lasted um like what I liked and I didn't like about them so first off I got them done probably like two months ago and I'm barely making this video now sorry <laughs> But yeah, I got them done because I was honestly tired of my hair and I wanted to just experience with different stuff and um, I told my friend, like, I was like, I want to braid my hair, like, I want to get my hair braided. She's like, I know someone who can do it, like, she can do it, like, cheaper. And I was like, okay. So she charged me $75 and then... I got, I bought the hair, obviously, you have to buy your hair, and then you pay the braider. So, yeah, I bought the hair, I got it at a random, like, beauty store, or hair store, or whatever, and the brand I got the hair from was from Rastafree, or Rastafry, Rastafari, I don't know, I forgot, something like that, and... My hair is kind of brown, but like a dark brown in my roots, and like it goes white at the end. And my hair is naturally wavy, curly. I have it straightened right now because I hate my hair and I don't know what to do with it. So yeah, basically, um, I got 11 packs of hair. The box braids were really obviously big and thick. My hair was heavy. It hurt. My head hurt for two days or like a day and a half she did them really tight but um because my hair isn't like kinky enough like my natural hair so um yeah um it took about six hours to do and she used wax to um how do you call it for it to like stay put obviously and so yeah it was all good like my braids like I had gotten used to them by the second third day I took Advil like right after so my head would like not hurt but yeah they were really heavy and my head was so stretched like yeah mm. and then um I really liked them and stuff but my hair is really sensitive um I have a lot of hair but it's really thin and I noticed like after a week a lot of my hair was sticking out like as if it was like like it fell off but it was just like attached there because of the braid and yeah um I also getting started getting a lot of dandruff because my skin or my scalp was so dry so I put oil it started getting really really itchy um so I used oil um I washed it it didn't work I guess um apple cider vinegar works and I bought it and it helped it calm down but honestly like my hair is just really really sensitive even with hairspray or gel like I get dandruff on the second day like it's just not okay and then yeah um, I only had them for two weeks I was gonna leave them on for a month but I was gonna go to Mexico um, the week after and I didn't want people to think I was crazy like I know how people are over there they would have been talking all this mess so I was like, okay, and then it was my cousin's wedding too, so I didn't want my hair um, like that to come out since it's not like my everyday type of hair. So I took them out after two weeks. When I took them out, it only took, only, <laughs> it took like two hours or less. Um, my mom helped me out and my hair fell out like crazy. Like my friend said that um, I was supposed to shed but like I know your hair sheds every day but this was like 
a crazy amount. That's why I have less hair right now, like, because I, I have a lot, but I don't know if you can tell, like, my hair would not be, like, it would just be fuller, like, like, thicker, but because I had a lot, like, my hair is just naturally thin. So, yeah, a lot of my hair fell. I'll insert a picture right here, like, a whole bucket of hair. Like, it's so, like, I was so scared, like, when I was brushing my hair, like, it would fall out like chunks and chunks of hair that sounds so crazy but that is what really happened and then yeah I mean overall like I liked them I liked how they look I can't even explain to you how many people would like tell me or compliment my hair um people would record me without even me noticing and I knew that because my friend told me that someone was recording me but then afterwards they asked if they can take like a picture and I was like sure like if you wanted like a picture of my hair you could have told me not done it behind my back so yeah anyways um I work at a restaurant so every day at least a hundred people would tell me like they liked my hair or like and like ask me questions like and stuff and I only throughout those two weeks I only um sh showered it I only washed it once um but yeah like I got so many compliments here in my uh, um elevator of the apartments like every time I'd get in there like someone would always compliment me ask me like how much it was and da da da, -da just like all these questions um at school too like People were like, oh my god, your hair, like, it's so cool. And, like, even people are like, why do you take them off? Like, they look so good on you. And, like, all this stuff. I am planning to get them done again, but maybe, like, in, like, a couple months. I'm not sure if I'm ready again to deal with it because it is a lot of care. Um, I also wore this cap. I have a large one because... Obviously, my braids were really, really long. They were up to my hip butt area. Like, I didn't cut them at all. And I wanted them that long. But, yeah, I am planning to get them thinner and, like, just get bigger parts. And um, I also have, like, a scar right here. Like, and it has no hair because my doctor pulled my hair when I was a baby when I was coming out of my mom's husty. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so she did a really good job in like covering it, like do that, so it was cool. But yeah, like I feel like having like box braids is difficult for me since like I do have this scar right here. And um, yeah, but overall I really liked them. If you guys have any other questions oh, on how I washed my hair, um, everyone said they used a spray bottle and they put the shampoo and then water and then the sprayed it on That's what I did and then like not with your nail, but like with your like fingers like you just like brush it over That's what I did and but I still had dandruff, but that's just me like my skin is very my scalp Sorry, my scalp is very 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 sensitive. So yeah, that's how I washed my hair and then Yep, I just put oil in it when it was because it gets really really dry and all that So yeah, if you guys have any other questions just leave in the comments down below and Thank you guys so much for watching this video um, Yes, I moved to LA and all these crazy stuff have happened to me and I will be vlogging that very very soon and explaining everything so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video Bye.